Hi, my name's Mike, and in this video, I plan on modifying my Moog Verkstat analog synthesizer. I plan on changing all of the bottom keys to white caps, um, adding white knobs to all the existing knobs with the use of a McDonald's straw, adding a gate input, probably here, adding a volume control, probably here, and adding a pitch bend with touch resistor, touch resistor here, and then probably adjustment for the pitch bend here. The white button caps I ordered on Mouser. The white knobs are from Mammoth Electronics. The gate input schematic I found on synthnerd.wordpress.com. Both the volume and the touch um, pitch bend uh, are from uh, works.workshop.com and I will provide links to all of these in the description. Okay, to start with, I'm going to just take it apart and get everything out of the case so I can drill the holes and start my modifications. Okay, now I'm going to start drilling my holes. Okay, I've got all my holes drilled in the case for the uh, pitch bend controls, the volume, and the gate. And now I'm ready to assemble. Let's start by putting in the gate input. Uh, this is just an eighth inch jack. The one I have is a switching jack, but you don't need that for this. Um, just a standard eighth inch jack to work. Next is the volume pot. This is a 10K. Next is the pitch range, which is a 1M. And then the switch, just a toggle switch, which will select um, where the pitch control is routed to on the workstat. And we'll either uh, allow the touch sensor to pitch up or pitch down, depending on the orientation of the switch. So I'll tighten all those up and start to wire things up. So now that I've got the soft pot attached to the case, I just took an X-Acto knife and cut out the two little screw holes. Um, I will fold this over and attach, but first I'm going to go ahead and solder these extensions. I'm going to do the blue wire to the center leg of the pot, uh, the far right wire to black which will be ground, and the left wire um, will be white and that will lead to the pot for the range adjustments.
Okay, so now I'm going to solder this gray wire, which is the center wire to my volume pot. That comes around to the VCA end. So that would be VCA end, so I will solder that on the bottom. So that's for the volume. Um, for the, the pitch bend, uh, the diagram, we're only using the center blue, but the blue runs over to my switch, which can select between the purple and the green wires, and those will wire in to the VCO linear and exponential. So pins one, um, three, and four, if you're looking at it from across here. so. We'll go ahead and make those connections now. Okay, got those bottom wires all connected. Now I'm going to connect the ground over to here to my grounding strip that I made. The 9 volts. Again, this 9 volt is for the, um, for the pitch bin. This is the pitch bin range. 9 volts. So that will connect into right here, Oops, right there. Then we have the orange, and the orange was for the volume control, and that comes into a negative 9 volt. So orange will come in up to the negative 9 volt up here. Um, and then we have the, the brown, which uh, the brown is the, the gate schematic. Um, it's just basically the other end of this. So I'm just going to bring that into the experimenter's pad over here. And then I will build that circuit in, um, on the pad and then jump that circuit back into um, pin 9 there. Okay, now that I got everything attached, um, I'm going to start working on the gate input. Uh, this is not my design. This was made by Nathan Ramsden, and I will provide a link to his website. Um, a few things. I did not have the exact diode, but what I had was similar, so I'm hoping that'll work. Transistor as well. Um, I just made sure it's a, still an NPN transistor. Uh, with similar properties, but we'll see if that works. If not, I may have to change those parts out, but um, we'll see. And so I'm going to install those basically right along this bottom line. Okay, I just finished the gate input, and just to go over it one more time, I got the brown signal wire, which is here, that feeds into the 100K resistor, feeds into the 100K resistor, which then feeds into the diode, just straighten the line, which then feeds into the next resistor, the um, 33K. Uh, that junction point also connects to the middle leg of the transistor here. And then that far leg of the transistor connects to ground, as well as this other end of the um, resistor. The far end of the transistor here connects to the yellow wire. So that would be here. And I'm coming out and I'm connecting to R89. 
Um, it's a surface mount resistor, so can't really get it to focus there, but um, there it is. All right, next I'm going to just change out all the black buttons for the white caps that I bought. So these little caps just snap right off if you pull just straight up. Uh, it's just a little square button in there and the cap is just a square of the same size as, as long as you orientate it the right way. It should snap right back in place. There we go. Okay, so now that my buttons are all done, I can go ahead and close this back up and start working on the knobs. Now I'm ready to put the knobs on. Um, the knobs I have aren't really meant for this size, and there's some wiggle. I could just tighten down the set screw, but then it kind of sets it off center. Um, so I've decided um, to make some little shims out of a McDonald's straw. I'm cutting little half inch strips. Uh, you might be able to find a straw that fits better. Uh, McDonald's straw is nice because it has the lines so you can kind of gauge how much you're cutting. I found out slightly over the red, red the thickness of the red line. Oh, it doesn't have to be totally precise. And just straight up and down. And then I also made this little spacer card I'm just place, placing it underneath so I don't pinch it too close to the case there. continue that and all the other knobs. Alright, I think I am all done. Got the bottom keys all changed out to white. The added white knobs to all the current knobs. Added the volume pot, the gate input, uh, and the pitch bend, this toggle, this pot, and the soft pot. I did have to change out the pot here because I found out it does not, the pitch band does not really work when I plug in the CV expander, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, my workaround, I put a different toggle in there, one that has a center is off, so um, now all the way to the left is pitch down, center is off, right is pitch up uh, for the soft pot. I'm just a way so I can disengage that when I want to plug in the CV expander.